I know I've talked about this quite a bit and we haven't talked about anything but this for the past week. But when I mean it somehow, and I've been saying this every video because it genuinely has been getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah, in this video and at this point, Chris is just done. Like what more do I have to say about this? Now the whole reason why I'm saying that is because recently, as of last night, more Discord DMs have been leaked. And if you thought what we talked about before was enough to crucify Chris Tyson, well after you're done watching this video, you guys are gonna be completely and utterly shocked. And I'm not saying this like we didn't know that things like this were already happening in this Discord server, but I'll be honest with you, based off of what was leaked and the fact that they put a countdown timer on when they were going to leak this information, which was really honestly unnecessary, due to the main fact that this leak is of a general chat of the Chris Tyson Discord server and that's pretty much it, I really did not expect it to be anything. But it turns out it is 10 times worse than any of us would have ever thought it would have been. And we have a huge amount of things to go over in this video. Like none of this was clickbait or over exaggerating. And you're literally going to agree with me when you see what we're talking about. So a little bit after I posted my first video going over the leaked DMs from the staff chats of Chris Tyson's Discord servers, because yes, there were two, there was a server and then there was a normal server, I received word that Cookie and Nathan were going to be releasing around 500,000 messages from the general chat of Chris's Discord server. And initially hearing this, I was like, there's no way in a public general chat that we would ever find anything that is even just a little bit bad. And the reason why I say that is because, I mean, you would think, well, I mean, it's a public Discord server and it's a public chat, so literally anybody can take screenshots or archive the chats. So why would you ever think about, and I mean ever, think about posting anything inappropriate or having inappropriate conversations with minors in your Discord server? No, honestly, when it comes down to this, I feel like that would just be common sense on Chris's part. Hey, maybe I shouldn't publicly or really at all exchange messages like this in front of or to minors. But yeah, for whatever reason, I really wasn't expecting there to really be anything damning in the general chat. For whatever reason, when the logs came out, me and many other content creators went looking through these logs and yeah it turns out that these are worse than the last logs that we went over and I know Chris is already done Chris's career is ruined but I just figured I would go over these because these are honestly incredibly damning despite all of the other stuff that has happened so far now just a little bit of a disclaimer I can't really make sure for this video that these are going to be in order by time and date but at this point I think the only thing that matters is that years ago between around 2017 in 2020, inappropriate messages were exchanged between Chris Tyson and quite a few of the minors that happened to be in his Discord server at the time. I will be going over as much as I can in this video, but I might happen to miss things because, you know, this is like 500,000 messages. But honestly, when it comes down to it, I do not believe that I really have to show all of these messages to prove to you how bad these are. I guess without further ado, let's get into this. So for the first thing that I want to go over, over, there's the screenshot where Chris says, she is only 14, damn. And then Chris posts an attachment, and guess what this attachment was? Well, if you have access to the logs and you click on this and you look in the URL, you can see that apparently it was a picture of Bad Baby, which at the time in 2018, Bad Baby would have been around 14 or 15 years old. So I do find it pretty weird that Chris is saying this about Bad Baby, especially given the fact that Chris would have been 21 at the time. So like, what the fuck. Now, as of going through the logs and looking on Twitter for additional information, I was able to find this screenshot right here. This screenshot is from Cope and Seethe, and apparently they listed the ages of almost everybody who was in there at the time in these messages from June 2017 to February 2019. Now, as far as I'm aware, the reason why we have the ages like this is because this person was able to find all of these users at one point in the logs saying, their ages. And as you guys can see right here, I don't see anyone who is over the age of 18. And these weird shady conversations were going down. Anyways, moving on. Next, we have a really interesting screenshot that shows that on October 18th, 2017, Chris linked Shadbase's website in a Discord server. And it gets worse. It's not just a Discord server or the fact that, you know, Shadman is who he is and has done what he has done. No, Chris decided to go ahead and post that 
that in his Discord server that was public, with most of the people being in the channels being underage, let alone that there's no excuse anyways for this being sent at all, even if the people were of age. This just further proves how much Chris was into Shad Man stuff. Because I mean right here you can see Chris sharing the link to the website that had very disgusting and potentially illegal artwork on it. Like what is going on? Next we have a screenshot that shows the chat calling Chris the lolly god. Right here it looks like we have Chris allegedly role playing in which you can see right here Chris says nuzzles peen and then chat responds no that's pretty gay. Once again this is a 21 22 year old in a general chat full of minors and it looks like it gets worse. Yes homo oh whoa what's this? Notice his bulge oh whoa and then Chris says ooh woo unzips dick. Like, I don't think I should have to tell you why this is bad. This screenshot is from the messages that are from October 2017. And it looks like here Chris says, Haha, at Mr. Beast joins in to comment on my penis. Dies. I love it. Now I just feel like I have to keep reminding people this server was full of minors. Discount says, I love your penis. This person said Chris has a huge cock can confirm. Now, what could be going on here could be like totally jokes and whatnot, but once again, I shouldn't have to tell you why you shouldn't be making these jokes in front of minors being, you know, an adult. Lava responds and says, you have a massive penis. Okay, like what is going on? Another screenshot from 2019 says, and this is from Chris, just put my nudes in NSFW. Now, some people might argue, well, this is a joke, right? Or is it? Because we don't even know like if this happened or not, or if it's a joke or what. I mean, all we do know though, is that there was actually an NSFW chat and there was hentai that was sent in that chat. So if Chris actually did happen to send their nudes in NSFW, it really wouldn't surprise me. And remember from the last video, there were underage moderators and admins in the server. It looks like we have another reference to Shadman's website in which Chris says, refreshing Shadbase daily, lol. Now these messages that I'm about to show right here look like these are the messages before what we went over a little bit earlier when Chris says, Mr. Beast joins to comment on my penis size. And it looks like we have discount milk saying his penis isn't big enough. And then Mr. Beast comes in and says, no, I know his penis and it's huge. Now, as for Mr. Beast, I don't really think Mr. Beast had like too much to do with this Discord server. I mean, I'd say some of the only questionable things that I've seen for Mr. Beast in here are the fact that he is talking about Chris's penis in front of minors, but I highly doubt he has anything to do with really any of this. And if that 100% is true, I don't think he should get hate. Just how I feel though. I almost kissed LMAO. Mattias sure missed you. Mattias was hard for you just a second ago. Chris comes in and says, at Becca, that would be crazy. Unless. And then Nathan Sock comes in and says, Chris, you're married. Like what is going on? Like honestly, this was in early 2020 when people started turning 18, but Still, there were a lot of minors in here and talking like this in a server like that. Like, what are you doing? Cookie said, I'm going to fist a drywall flashlight. Chris replies and says, at Cookie, that's so hot. Oh my gosh, Chris, what are you doing? Like, what are these messages? What am I looking at? I can't believe that this all happened and just nobody really knew about it except for Cookie and nobody decided to archive it except for Cookie. I, I just really, I <laughs> like this is insane. And the fact that it happens so many times within this server and by the way this is the public general chat i'm gonna say it again so that means literally anybody who joins the server can see this and the way that chris is having these conversations with people who are most likely underage like i just find it to be so absurd it looks like in this screenshot chris posts a video from belle delphine and said belle delphine uploaded a video this is not a drill go like for our queen now if you know anything about belle delphine you would know that she's not exactly child friendly so chris posts a video from Belle Delphine in a server full of minors is just, it's, it's, no, don't do it. It's bad. Chris said in July of 2019, did anyone manage to get Belle Delphine's bath water? Then somebody said, dude, I was going to buy it for you. Then remembered. Chris said, I almost bought it last night and I didn't. It's sold out now. Lava replied and said, I legit texted you about this an hour ago. And then Cookie asks, would you drink it though, Chris? Chris said, nah, just cherish it. Like, dude, what is happening? Jenny, 
genuinely, what is happening here? This most likely could be a joke. Chris says, buy my feet pics, and I don't know what was sent here. Maybe it was a picture of his feet. That is true. Very fucking weird. Chirp Chirp said, that's illegal. Dark Chip said, nasty feet boy. Like, honestly, just based off of how this chat is going, I think that's what Chris sent. Chris sent something else, and then Cookie responded and said, that's cute as fuck. Noah, let me eat your ass. And this was unmoderated, by the way. I mean, this happened years ago. And for this archive, when it happened, like, none of this shit was deleted. And it was totally A-OK -okay with Chris Tyson to have this stuff be going on in his Discord server. Cookie then said, best trap. Halesy said, Moon, you want him? Cookie said, I do. I'm coming for his thick ass. Like, I can't make this shit up. I really can't. Chris sent a picture of some sorts. Somebody responded and said, Bruh, who the fuck are y'all posting pics? Halesy says, Oh, wait, it's Hen- Never mind. Chris says, are there any big boys in the chat? Nathan responds and says, hi, dad, yes. Chris says, ooh, woo. At Chris, what would you describe as the average age of this Discord server? And Chris responds and says, 14. Chris in this screenshot says, also, the NSFW channel is for cultured people. Only those who believe anime legends can enter. Nathan says, me and Lava made a fake NSFW channel. Chris says, we will now discuss important things, small girls, or thick girls. Chris in this screenshot says, says she's a lolly. Never proved it. I think not. Like, I just don't get what's up with Chris and lolly. I really don't. And it looks like at one point, Chris was trying to get people to add him on his Snapchat. And let me remind you, this is in a server full of minors. And I'm not inherently saying that Snapchat and like adding people on Snapchat is bad. But I mean, given Chris's behavior here, who knows what could be going down? Lol, jealous. Lolly is jealous. Yeah, I really don't know what that means. But it could be a typo. Uwu's so hard. Uwu. Uwu unzips dick. Like, what do I even say? Uwu licks shithole. Like, guys, I think it's safe to say that Chris is officially gooning. And maybe don't fucking goon in a server full of minors. Somebody said, 11-year-olds are too old for me. Chris responds with an image of some sort. And we're never gonna know what that image is. But yeah, questionable stuff. So yeah, I mean, as far as you guys can see right there, there are some really weird messages that he was sending in a server full of minors. This was the general chat, by the way. Now, of course, like before, this is not every everything. I mean, there were like 500,000 messages released. If you guys would like to go check it out yourself, I will be linking that down in the comment section down below. Feel free to sift through it and find whatever you want to find. And if you find anything interesting, feel free to post it on Twitter and tag me in it. My Twitter is at sub to Brion. Feel free to follow whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, with that all being said, really disgusting behavior and debatably 10 times worse than what we went over before. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy the video, make sure you like comment and subscribe because doing so will help promote the video more in the algorithm so that more people will see it. Thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel. Your support really means the world to me and I really do appreciate it. My name is Brion and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Shit it